Okay, it's Louise Beard here from Forward Insight and Strategy and I'd like to welcome you to the NZC and Tourism webinar series. This program is focused on building value from and to the China FIT or Free Independent Traveller Market and is part of a larger program sponsored by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, MB, um, that <coughs> is, um, includes a number of um, focused reports, modules, webinars, um, top tips and links to our social media program which is active on Facebook and Twitter. Um, do keep following those, there are new things happening all the time and um, new things being put up on the website as well. This module, module 6, is focused on sp uh, special interest areas. So what we're going to do is briefly look at what the Chinese FIT are interested in and cover a number of special interest focus areas, look at the social culture op opportunity, festivals, China golf and high value and then some planning tools. So to start with what are the China FIT or independent travellers interested in? Um, Basically, the first thing really is that everyone isn't the same and generally the free independent travellers are interested in our high, um, high interest icon experiences, but there is also an opportunity within um, what is a very diverse group um, to follow um, high, highly focused special interests. If we look at what broadly our Chinese FIT um, are wanting to do, um, the, this diagram shows in the light blue what they did on their last experience and in the dark blue what they want to do next time. And on the right are things that they want to do probably less of on a second visit and on the left things that they would like to do more of. And you can see that food and wine and cultural experiences and attractions are the two strongest things that people want to get involved in at some point on their visit. What's also um, of interest are farms and orchards um, and gardens and wellness attractions and down on the left hand side wildlife encounters and air activities, um, volcanic and water activities have also got particular strength. Of interest is the um, increasing um, desire to be involved in seeing wildlife and natural environments. Once people have been to New Zealand, they re recognise and realise that this is a great experience to be involved in. Air activities are of particular interest because Chinese airspace is close to small aircraft, and to be able to have the freedom to do that um, in New Zealand is, is great. Um, there is also some increasing interest in quite niche things like potentially game hunting, um, heli hunting and rifle range shooting. So around 8% want and are interested to do that next time. And you might think 8% is quite low, but within five years there's an expectation of 1 million visitors per annum coming from China on holiday. And so 8% of a million really adds up to quite a few. Um, also of interest are things like um, natural attractions and rivers, snow experiences are becoming more interesting because um, China has secured the Winter Olympics and we've got special interest areas like golf. I think the strength of interest around a quarter of all these visitors would like to see and experience our gardens and a lot of that is based on the beauty um, of gardens and photographic opportunities. But also really strong demand there again around a quarter of all visitors wanting to engage in wellness um, activities. Walking is not delivering so well generally because um, the Chinese find our walks um, boring and difficult. Um, and I think a focus around um, storytelling, having an experience that you happen to walk through is probably more relevant to this target group overall. However, in China there are um, um, targeted people who are getting more involved in hiking um, and it may be if you're going through a specific um, channel, social media and communication channel in China that you could target those people if it's your area of focus. In terms of um, food and wine, what do people want to do? New Zealand specific food experiences on the first trip particularly strong. We are, um, I think we're under delivering in this area 
and um, not telling our stories about what is unique and special and so there's declining interest in that but still, still, still there. Overall, high-end crayfish, shellfish um, and seafood um, has got really strong interest and wines and vin wineries and vineyards also really strong. So a mixture of seafood, um, real food, local food um, and specialist food experiences. When we look at what is um, of more interest to Chinese, it generally is things around food, food experiences, markets and food tours, wine and beer, cycling, um, easy walking, spa and health and farm um, activities. Art galleries, museums and festivals tend to be more around support. We also have direction here and these are examples only of things that people are interested in including in their trips. Um, things that are particularly unique to New Zealand and um, are particularly good here like stargazing, glacier walks, wild watching, but also small experiences. And we have the special areas of interest, hiking, cycling, photography, a strong um, interest among travellers with um, very good photographic gear um, and scenic adventures. So we have now a number of special interest areas. I won't go into these in great detail, but for each of these areas we've got what is the overall relevance to this independent group of Chinese, Yet some issues that may arise, risks around those activities, targeting, an opportunity, and then what the development potential is um, in terms of new product. So we have hiking, um, walking, um, and how we can improve that experience. Cycling, um, generally this again is often too difficult um, and too taxing for um, our visitors, particularly the off-road cycling experiences, but there are opportunities to target shorter trips, more scenic trips, and potentially um, utilise um, urban cycle trails and e-bikes. Photography, there is strong interest in guided experience from photographic experts, particularly on where to take great shots and local knowledge. Snow and winter experiences, uh, particularly during the June to September school holidays, um, a great opportunity to tack, tap into that um, and build awareness of, um, it's not a place that people would come particularly for skiing, but snow experiences and win winter family experiences generally um, do have attractive, are attractive. Gardens, again around a quarter of people want to have these experiences. Um, and being, having a national trail of gardens that people can actually find would be particularly helpful. Um, Eco-wildlife immersion, very, very much of interest. Um, in some instances we need to manage um, how people access those experiences because often they're not familiar with wildlife and natural environments and don't understand um, always how um, we need to keep a distance. And more information on that. Just a note here that for our Chinese visitors, um, ducks, um, swans, geese, um, birds in, our, in the natural environment um, also are, are highly appealing. So an example of where our ordinary is certainly there extraordinary. Wellness spas, very strong appeal and huge potential to build experiences that are natural, um, are, are based around our either natural um, volcanic or environmental experiences and bringing the inside outside um, in those spas and using real um, water, not um, just heated water for example, which is quite common in other parts of the world. Um, more information on spas if anyone's particularly interested in that. And again, wine trail opportunities both to give people access through um, sort of fairly easy and short education about our wines and what makes them distinctive in the world. Particularly our high-end visitors are very sophisticated and knowledgeable about wine. And again, um, opportunities to uh, develop short wine courses and tasting experiences, ideally with tasting notes in Mandarin. 
cycling, um, certainly keep it short, flat, scenic um, and with things to stop off and do on the way. And again in Mandarin um, a map showing um, where to go, what's of interest, where the great photographic opportunities are and if it's isolated and not within cell phone coverage providing a two-way radio would be a necessary reassurance for safety. The social cultural opportunity um, the Chinese are very interested in experiencing the New Zealand way of life. Um, everything from our cafe culture, wine culture, local produce and market culture, to how we spend our weekends, the things that we watch, the playgrounds that our families go to. When we look at specific areas of interest, the New Zealand cultural experience on the first visit is number one, um, but then culture and lifestyle getting into a bit more depth around farm stays and architecture is more of interest um, sustained in the second visit. Um, museums and art galleries, um, a portion of people are wanting to go and experience those things. Again, having language translations to enable and help connection makes a real difference. Um, between 16 to 16% are very interested in having a Māori Indigenous cultural experience and generally overall all of the experiences that we are delivering are rated very well as a four or five out of five. Māori cultural experiences um, they're generally um, are understood to operate at three levels. The more show entertainment level, the experience underpinned by culture and culturally led. The entertainment um, end of things is of interest if people have time and it tends to be more opportunistic but often not well understood and not understood that this is not a real reflection of contemporary life. So um, substantial room for misinterpretation with that but um, as there is interest and engagement. The strongest area with appeal is experience some activity doing something but underpinned by unique culture. And, there was, and, and having a genuine experience of something that's really significant and important to local people. The culturally led activity that is not so activity based um, and is very dependent on storytelling can be difficult for Chinese to understand and often doesn't deliver quite so well because of that. So in this instance translation becomes much more important. Um, some visual um, illustration of those different um, and if we are looking to target this market again and, and wanting to do translation, symbols and signs, handouts, QR code links to translation, audio headsets and Mandarin speaking guides can make a big difference. Festivals are not necessarily something that will be a draw card in themselves but if it works in with the timing of a visit, people are very interested to try and work festivals in. The key opportunity is a calendar so people can understand what's available. Um, and things that are of particular interest are seasonal garden flower festivals, unique food festivals, ch building in with the Chinese festivals, uh, farm and agricultural festivals, and snow festivals. Um, this section talks about golf particularly, if, if anyone does have an interest in high-end travellers and particularly golf travellers, we have a whole report on golf um, for, for the Chinese independent travellers. The key thing is that golf is never done on its own, it is always integrated with travel experiences and what's very important for the high end is a sense of drama through transformative unique experiences that they can get involved in and have up close um, hands on zero distance immersion experiences with. The imagery, it's very important that that also um, reflects that drama and isn't static. Some things that our high end golf travellers would like to do with um, golf. Um, there are things like learning to fly, sailing, self-driving, hunting, helicopter experiences, day hikes and skiing, but also in a more cultural sense, premium wine, island hopping, glacier and ice experiences, thermal spas, milk lakes, 
um, and anything that's around environment, sleeping under the stars. So a, a wide range of interests going um, there with golf. So if we look at planning, um, this section fits under um, really a point of difference. What have we got that's unique, different, and how can our visitors access that? You can use um, this Lean Canvas plan on the page to build up um, a picture of your target market and how you can best deliver. We have a number of um, frameworks to help you build that plan. And if you would like additional resources, do go to our website, nzcntourism.co.nz, um, and there you will find links to other resources and information as well. Also, if you would like more information on special interest areas, this has been a short summary overview. Please do go to the full module on our website.